Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at how we move objects in Scratch using our keyboard and I've got two ways of showing you, um, two pieces of code. Uh, they look different but they basically do the same thing but I think one does it better than the other and I'm going to start off with that method first. So the first method um, is to, uh, we're focusing on this yellow ball at the moment, is to forever keep checking to see if a particular key is pressed and if it is pressed change its current position by a value now x makes it move left and right y makes it move up and down a positive number on x makes it move right a negative number makes it move left using y in the same way a positive number makes the ball move up a negative number on y makes the ball move down so forever we're going to keep checking to see if the right arrow is pressed, and if it is, we're going to change x by 5. If the left arrow is pressed, we're going to change it by negative 5. Same thing with the up arrow. We're going to check to see if the up arrow is pressed, and if it is, we're going to change the y position, the current position, by 5. And if the down arrow is pressed, we're going to change y by a negative 5. So let's just see that in action. So we'll click go and we press up and you can see it's moving pretty well you can see the blue ball is moving as well but it's a little bit laggy and we're going to explore the reasons why that is um, remember this code is only on the yellow ball at the moment not the blue ball okay so that's the better code this is the one I recommend you use the alternative if we take a look at the blue ball is to set this up so this is under events uh, still and what we're going to do is we're going to look when the right arrow is pressed then we're going to change x by 5. When the left arrow is pressed, we're going to change it by negative 5. Same thing with the up, change y by positive 5. When the down arrow is pressed, we're going to change it by negative 5. This way is okay, but as you can see on the blue ball, it's far more laggy. Um, oh, let's, let's try this again. So it does move up, but it's got a bit of a, a delay on it. It's not like uh, the yellow ball, which is always moving all the time. The codes are the same but it doesn't like to repeat it itself too quickly so there is a bit of a lag it does work if you're doing certain games um, like right now I'm just tapping the keyboard and you can see it's kind of keeping in time but like if I press and hold which you do in most games it has a bit of a delay it does it once but then it delays itself so I, I think the, um, the first method is better okay so those are the first those are the two methods you've got using the events and in this one you're using the control um, to control using this forever loop forever checking to see if the keys are pressed